guys, welcome back to my channel and another video. Oh my gosh, I feel so awkward saying that because I've literally not sat down, and just sat down and done a sit down video in what feels like forever. I spoke to you guys over like about a week ago now, a week or so ago on my channel and just said like, I just gave you guys a real talk. I'll, I'll link that video below about why I haven't been uploading as frequently. There's nothing serious. It's just lockdown taking its toll on life, taking its toll on me and probably the same as every other. I've actually noticed that quite a other few YouTubers haven't been uploading as regularly, regular, regular. I always sound so stupid in my videos sometimes because I can't say words properly and then I've written at the video back and I'm like, girl, you can speak. Anyway, I haven't been uploading as often, but um, I'm all good. Lockdown's just been getting a little bit too much for me. Um, I had a lovely birthday last week and I thought I would start my evening of, I'm gonna film a few videos this evening, um, and yeah, I'm gonna start off tonight and start off this video with uh, what I got for my birthday video. Just a little bit of a happy video. I got a lot of self-care things this year. Let me put this out here. I think my general friends and general family were thinking, gee, that girl is stressed out. Let's give her some like self-care situations. Um, I just want to say as a disclaimer for this video is I'm not boasting in any shape or form. I love watching people's what I got for my birthdays. I love to see what things they're liking at the moment, what things they've maybe been gifted, good gift ideas and yeah I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna show you guys what I got for my birthday. How the heck am I 25? I am not even joking. Like I actually feel like when I was working in the co-op and it was like the ID check, it's like, are they 25, are they not? Like now I am that age, am I 25? Yes, I am. I am in my mid twenties. I just don't feel like I've got my life together. You know, I feel like maybe in your mid twenties you should kind of have your life together, but I don't. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I got for my birthday. 25 years old and look, I even got these balloons. Feeling this is gonna come up quite funny on the, like it's probably gonna be the wrong way. Is that right? Twen 25. Yeah, these are the balloons that Lou got me and I'm gonna add a picture somewhere on the screen. Like literally we had disco ball balloons when I came into the living room um, and I give Lou a thumbs up to Lou every year. Um, we always make an effort with each other's like little birthday displays in the morning. And I said, I think even so more so this year, we've not really been able to go anywhere or do anything. It was really nice to wake up with like some nice balloons and it was lovely. Um, we started my birthday off by going to the beach. We went to the beach and we just literally wandered along the beach. Um, I've kind of come to the conclusion as I've got older that the beach is kind of like my escape from real life and I just love it. So we spent like the whole morning up until about lunchtime on the beach and we came home and had some lunch um, and I opened some presents. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I got for my birthday. I'm not going to do it in any particular order, um, but I'm just going to like just pick up things and sort of say where they're, who they're from. So first of all, Lou got me, like, I am not even joking, like, so many face masks. I've already used a few. Um, I kind of said to Lou this year, he was like, what do you want for your birthday? Um, and I was like, Lou, I, like, I didn't really ask for anything in particular um, because there wasn't really anything I could think of that I would like or, you know, so he just got me loads of nice self-care bits. He got me loads of the nice of Garnier face masks. These are so good. Um, he got me a simple face mask, a volcano mud face mask, and a gold hydraulic one. He also got me a cucumber one, but I have already used that one. And it is just amazing. I just love skincare at the moment. And there was another one in there as well. He got me another one. So literally there's loads of face masks. He got me some of my favorite chocolates and snacks and things like that. He also got me, it's so funny, cause he was like, Harry, I usually go into like Primark and get you your fleecy socks and things like that. He always gets like nice little extra little bits as well. But this time he had to go into um, b and and get me socks, but I'm not complaining. I got a packet of these gray fluffy ones and I'm so glad I'm filming this because I haven't been able to wear them. So I just wanted to kind of keep them on the cute little B&M's packaging. So we got me a packet of three grey and white ones and then a packet of pink ones as well. Um, and if I could tell you how fleecy they are, they are so fleecy. So love them, Lou. Thank you. He also got me loads of bubble baths. I've actually used another one of these, but he got me a couple of these Champney's Health Spa bubble bath. And Lou said he was trying to create like a pamper evening kind of vibe. Um, he got me a Champney's bubble bath haven. Now, I've never ever, you know if you've watched my videos, I don't spend a lot of money on like self-care. If I can get it in B&M's or Home Bargains, I will. Um, so Lou bought me this one and another couple of these. Um, for my bath and it's kind of transformed my life. I don't, I don't know how expensive these are, but I know there'll be a couple, few more pounds over the ones I usually buy from like B&M's and Home Bargains. But I think if you want a treat guys, this actually smells like, 
your whole bathroom is like a bubble haven it smells gorgeous so if you are looking for a little pamper um and you want to ask someone for something for your birthday definitely recommend you asking for this because the champney champ knees health spa bubble heaven this one is in the scent which one lavender and the one i've got in the bathroom i'm not sure what the one in the bathroom is but it's amazing he also just got me a radox one because he knows i love radox and this one's in a feel pampered luxuries she butter and ginger sure it'll be lovely next thing lou got me is my favorite shampoo and conditioner ever like i was gonna do a favorites videos and add these but now you're gonna know so basically the charles worthington um ultra toning violet shampoo and conditioner um and he also got me the charles worthington colorplex toning ultraviolet intensive treatment now we're not going to the hairdressers my roots are growing like there's no tomorrow so this is really good just to kind of keep the color bright and then extra deep conditioning to kind of put on my hair while i've got my face mask on my nice bubble bath love it my best friend sarah got me a couple of like more face masks everyone knows i'm loving face masks we've got a a beauty brightening instant facial and we've got a super hydration facial <laughs> and then we've got this big which i've actually got already opened um big bag of pick and mix sweets now on my days i i have got such a sweet tooth i don't know what's happened in my old age but i am not i am telling you i was never i never had a sweet tooth it was always like crisps but now i say old age guys i am legitimately joking um sweets are like my loving life now so thank you so much for this i'm going to be eating these like there's no tomorrow. I also got a Bayless and Harding bubble bath for my friends, for my best friend Sarah, and it's a rose and ger geranium. Lovely. I'm not joking. People must have been like vibing self-care vibes this birthday. Lou then got me this gorgeous, which I have actually been using, so I'm just gonna tell you guys what it is. When Lou said to me, what would you like for your birthday? I like actually kept saying to him, Lou, like literally, all I would like is self-care items and, uh, champagne colored throw and Lou thought I was joking like I genuinely that is literally I just wanted a throw that I could put on the sofa cozy in the corner and never leave so that's what he did he got me the most gorgeous champagne colored fleecy throw which I am just looking at right now and I have been cozying up every night in this champagne colored throw and it's probably one of the best birthday presents I've ever had because I use it every single day it's so cozy and yeah thank you so much for that Luke because literally oh love it mum got me a literally I am not kid you not eight bottles of Pinot Grigio my whole wine rack was filled I've worked my way through three bottles of it since my birthday so thank you very much for that mum and dad and um, she got me a bottle of Prosecco and yeah I was like mum that is the best present ever just to fill your wine rack up with your favorite wine you can't go wrong can you she also got me two and my dad also got me two sweatshirts um which I'll try and add a picture somewhere as I'm talking about them but it's from the brand Missy Empire and one says Prada and one says What's the other one say? Dior, die for Dior. I mean, how did brands get away with that? I don't know. But anyway, I absolutely love them. Um, I will put pictures here so you can see them, but they're black with right, white writing on the front. And they are a vibe. They are so cozy, so soft on the inside. And I think they were on and off when mum got them because I'd sent her the link to them saying, mum, if you would like to get me anything, I would absolutely appreciate if you got me this. And um, yeah, so I think she got quite a good deal with them. And yeah, if you're looking for a nice cozy sweatshirt where you want to be a little bit stylish, then hit Missy Empire up because the hoodies are and the sweatshirts and everything, I will try and link them below for you guys because if you'd like them, you'll see them on my Instagram post, which is at basically a princess. I think I've already posted one with the Dior, or I will do in the next few days. So anyway, um, the next thing I got for my birthday, is one of my friends messaged me and um, said they wanted to pop round on my birthday and give me something, obviously at the front door, um, social distancing. Um, did not expect this at all. First of all, he brought me this huge hamper, and I'm not joking, it was just the most thoughtful thing ever, and it, literally, it was just one sec back it and get in there off the floor so this huge hamper with like a cheese board um mixture of everything in it we've already taken the gin out and put that in the fridge Lou started on the gin there was a bottle of wine in here that's gone in the fridge and been drank the cheeses and hams and everything have been in the fridge and we've been nibbling at and we're actually gonna have a cheese board tonight with everything in it after i filmed this we've got a bottle of champagne chocolates biscuit like biscuits of cheese chutneys Oh, honestly, it was the most thoughtful, loveliest present. And it was a mix between like our engagement present and birthday present. But I just had to show it because it literally made my day. It was just the most thoughtful 
just the most thoughtful present and you had like chocolates in it um and just the most loveliest doorstep like birthday gift it was it was so nice my friend also bought me now this was one of them presents that i am still shocked about i do not know what was going through my friend's head but it was just the most thoughtful gift i have probably just you know okay a louis vuitton flipping accessory scarf i like <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in shock like I literally opened the box and I was like nah nah no, no way has he bought me this um yeah one of my best friends Stephen bought me this I just absolutely gobsmacked by this honestly love it it's a Louis Vuitton scarf um the packaging in itself guys I mean it's just absolutely stunning um you can basically you can style it up on your handbag you can have it as a bandana on your hair around your neck um I think I'm gonna put it on like it really nicely tied onto my handbag um I'm gonna have to upgrade my handbag now aren't I um but it's absolutely stunning I love it and I do sometimes see women who have worn it like round their hair I'm not really sure how I'm, no not like that Harriet definitely not like that but um yeah I'm really looking forward to styling this and I can just honestly the minute I go open this I was like I had I, like I messaged him straight away and I was like thank you so much that is so so kind of you like thank you um yeah <laughs> I knew the minute I was explaining this I would just keep saying thank you because I'm still in shock by it because it's just the most thoughtful just the most thoughtful gift and the packaging in itself is just like wow i love it lou bought me a louis vuitton purse a few years ago so I, I i i don't know i'm just gobsmacked there's something about getting something like this it's just like you don't expect it do you so yeah i really i honestly really really appreciate it and i love it absolutely love it i then received from lou's mom this gorgeous um journal i absolutely love this it says beautiful um blooming beautiful it's just a really nice journal. I've actually wanted to do this thing for a while where I just write one sentence a week for a year. Um, so I think I might start it in this. And I just think it'd be a nice thing to look back on in years to come. How you felt that day. How's your day been? Um, yeah, but one sentence a day a year. I'd love to start doing this. And I, this is just a cute little journal to, to do it in. Lou's mum also got me some new perfume. I have never tried the M... M... Pot... M... Porio Armani Diamonds range, but it actually smells really nice. It's a gorgeous sort of like daily, sort of a light perfume that you can wear. Um, it's a cute little box as well with the diamond, little sort of little sparkly crystals on it. Um, and yeah, it's a good daily perfume. Um, and I've gone from having no perfume to now having loads I got Christmas. And this one, so I'm not complaining. So thank you to Lee's mom for that. Yeah, love that. I'm trying to think if I've forgotten anything. I don't think I have. But if I have forgotten anything, can you watch this? Like my sister, she gave me some money for wine. Um, I had some sort of money off like my grandparents and my auntie got me some packing cubes which to be honest is a very essential, my packing cubes are an essential item and I've actually been wanting to get them for ages so when we do go travelling they will come in so useful um, but yeah thank you so much to everyone if you're watching this, not on anyone but if I have I'm so sorry and you're watching this <laughs> um, but yeah thank you so so much um, for watching this video guys I really hope you enjoyed it I just had a lovely relaxed chilled out day um we had a takeaway and um, we're on the beach and i just felt really pampered with all my pampery bits that i've got now to go and like look after and look after my skin over the next few weeks so um yeah thank you so so much for watching um i will see you all real soon in my next video and yeah sorry for the like sort of week distance no video uploads um i'm back um and i'm sorry about the distance and silence for the last week so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you all real soon in my next video bye guys